Hello everyone and welcome back to our video course. Today we continue creating our custom primitives for Plan 3D. Last time we started building the basic elements and now it's time to move forward. In this video we'll begin working with nuts. First we import the necessary modules. We import shape objects, which is our base wrapper class for any geometry, and then we import the NAT6 underscore 001 function. This is the predefined NAT geometry from our Plan 3D library. Now we define our custom class. This class represents a NAT. It inherits from shape object, so it can be used in assemblies just like any other primitive. Inside the class, we have the constructor. Here, S is the system object passed from plan 3D. The underscore thread is the thread diameter. W is the range size and H is the nut height. Also, we will need in the future access to the nut height. If the height is not specified, or if it is zero, we set it to a default value, which is 0 0.75 times the thread diameter. Actually, I copied this rule directly, directly from a standard plan 3D nut definition. Else, we just store it directly. We call the standard plan 3D function CNAT6 underscore 001 to generate the NAT shape. By default, it's oriented along the X axis, but I want it to face in the Z direction, so I just rotate it around the Y axis by 19 degrees. And actually, that's it. Uh, then we just pass the final object to the parent class using super dot init. Now let's define methods to create standard nuts by ISO norms. I've prepared an Excel table with all the necessary dimensions. And for now, two standards are enough. The regular nut ISO 4032 and the low profile version ISO 4050. To save time, I asked ChatGPT to convert these values into Python dictionaries for us. That way, we can simply look up the width and height based on the thread diameter. Fast, accurate, and no need to type everything by hand. Now, let's create two static methods for generating standard nuts. First one is ISO 4032. This is the regular full height nut. So, let's paste our dictionary first, where each key is the thread diameter and the value is a pair height and width. and uh, just return an app with the values from the table. That's it. I do the exact the same thing for ISO 4015, which is a low height nut, uh, so-called thin type. The only difference is the height values in the dictionary, they're smaller compared to ISO 4032. The rest of the logic is identical. I look up the values, check for errors, and return the NAT. And uh, let's check just how it works. So, in our first script, we just import, uh, import our new created fastener.nuts uh, module and then just uh, invoke the method nut dot iso forty thirty two let's say m sixteen and 
I want to check uh, how uh, does it work the uh, not height uh, property. I just have to create third the object and then I have access to this not height. And that's it. And let's check it in AutoCAD. Uh, at first, again, we register our custom script and uh, check the geometry. Okay, that's it. So we have the NAT. Translation is working. Everything is good. See you in the next video. Bye.